Now uh, onto the Seahawks at Detroit against the Lions. Lions obviously mm-hmm. took that big win in that mm-hmm. season opener against the Chiefs. Now they are favored five points against yeah. the Seahawks team. Seahawks team that yeah. made the playoffs last year. Forty-seven mm-hmm. and a half is the over/under. How do we feel about this one, Ben? I think personally, I think this game is going to be very, very competitive. Yep. I think the Seahawks. Uh, this is really big for them because yeah. it's one of those things where they people could see them either falling back to their regression to you know down to earth from what they were the year prior to what they did last year or mm-hmm. at least in the first half, yep. or you could see them being dominant this year, taking another step in their competitive team. I know a lot of people actually I've seen took them to win that division over the 49ers, which I think is a little crazy because the yeah, Niners are so dominant. A little wild. But I mean, that shows you the amount of respect they have around the league. With that said, I love the Lions, man. I uh, one yep. of my one of the yep. things I've been monitoring, one of the picks I was considering, didn't take it, and I'm not going to. Seahawks plus five, I think is interesting. I think it'll be close. With that said, I mean, I think the Lions going out there and taking that Week One win opener, all that pressure against a team like the Chiefs, you have to give them credit and you have to be confident in them doing it against a team like the Seahawks who are obviously going to be less competitive, less, maybe not less competitive, less prepared than a team like Andy Reed and Mahomes is, you know, quarterbacking. So it'll be an interesting game. I'm going with the lions. I don't want to take any of the points here uh, or the over under. Like I said, I think it's going to be a close game, but I don't see it really being a shootout uh, mm-hmm. necessarily. I could, I could see it being a closer game and lower scoring. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're on the same uh, same page here. I, I like how you talked about how this is important from Seattle's perspective, and of course, of course, I agree with that. Definitely, uh, they want to get back on the right track after that big surprise year that they had last year, and they want to prove that they are legit. I also think this is a really important game from Detroit's perspective. Yeah, because now it's like okay. You won week one against the defending champs, regardless of whether they're missing Kelsey and Jones. You beat the defending champs in a week one on Thursday Night Football. When's the last time Detroit had a win like that? Now it's how do you handle that success and how do you go forward with the rest of your season? You're used to being the underdog. You're not used to being favored by five points in these games. You're used to being the underdog that everyone likes to take at plus five and a half. You're used to being the Seahawks in this instance. So Mm -hmm. I want to see how Detroit handles that. I'm going to take Detroit to win this game because I think they are a different team with a different culture, but I think this is really important and it's really telling of how far they've come. Yeah. I mean, good for them and the Seahawks are a matter of fact, Mm -hmm. turning it around post Russ post uh, Legion of boom era. So uh, onto 